bold of you to assume, Josh, that I'm not going to talk about my love life. But I guess I just don't care as much as I used to. So the last time we had this conversation, I told you guys who I had a crush on, and a few weeks later, we started dating. And that went well for a couple years, but a few weeks before we graduated, the two of us broke up, and I've been single ever since then. And I don't really see that changing anytime soon. Similar to what Josh was saying, I'm really not going to date somebody that I feel isn't right for me. And so I don't really date anybody. And I don't think dating apps are going to help me with that. I guess I haven't tried, so I don't really know, but it sounds like the, the problems that Josh are having sound like the kind of problems I would have if I tried dating apps, so I just haven't tried yet. Another problem is that because I'm not using dating apps, I don't really meet many women, because I don't get out much. Shocker, I know, but apart from co from my classes, I don't get out, and my classes aren't really the greatest place to meet women. You know, computer science just does not have the best gender diversity. I was actually kind of surprised when I got here at how many women there were. <clears throat> and just don't don't misinterpret that as there are a lot of women in my in my program. Just because there's more than I thought, there's still like two men for every woman in my program. <laughs> so, yeah, not really meeting a lot of people. And so I guess the upshot of all this is I'm single and I don't see that changing anytime soon. It's not that I'm against being in a relationship, I just don't see it happening. I guess this is why we don't talk about our love lives very often. There just isn't that much to say. Unless Robert Withair has been dating lots of people behind our backs, but you know, I somehow doubt that's the case. I guess we'll have to wait for his next video to be sure. Robert? Surprise me.